Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at a HomeKit product that I have really come to enjoy and has helped expand my Spart home devices. And that's Akara's line of HomeKit devices. They asked me to be a part of their beta testing and were good enough to send me a complete set of all of their US devices. I thought I would do a walkthrough of these devices and share some of my experiences with them. Now, a car has been in the smart home market for some time in China, but has not yet created an official U.S. version of their products that worked with HomeKit. As of this recording, the devices are now launched, and you can get your hands on those products at Amazon, including a starter kit that contains all of the essentials. Now, the kit that I was given included a HomeKit Acara hub right here. And this hub allows you to connect with Apple's HomeKit, and this serves as the central hub that all of the other devices connect to. I was also given some other products as well. I was given a set of sensors, including a temperature sensor, a water leak sensor, a door and window sensor, vibration sensor, and motion sensor, and all of these have worked really well. I was given some controllers as well. I was given a smart plug, a wireless mini switch, the wireless remote switch with the single rocker and double rocker, as well as the cube right here. And as you can see, there is, a, there is the smart home kit that you can get that includes a number of these devices, and you can buy these right on Amazon. You can see them right here. I've liked the product so much that I went out and bought a window sensor for all of the windows in my home. And what I'm going to do in this screencast is show you how to set up those window sensors, and that'll give you an overall view of how the Acara system works. So let's get started by taking a look at how to set up the Acara app. Okay, the first thing we need to do is download the Acara Home app, and so you can find that over in the App Store. I've already downloaded it, so let me go ahead and open it. And so this is the application, and as you can see, I have a number of things already set up inside the application, but I want to show you how to, uh, but I want to show you how to add the Acara Hub. So you can see the plus up there in the top right. If I just tap on that plus up there, you can see I get the add accessory screen. And what you'll notice is I have the hub at the top, but I've got all these other accessories in here. And this is another great place to get an idea for all of the different accessories that Acara offers that you can add to your smart home. So we'll start by tapping on the hub here, and it's going to ask me to choose a home. Now, depending on how your setup goes, you may already set up a home that says My Home, or you may have to set one up. But I'm just going to go ahead and select My Home. Now, you can have more than one home, and so you can control devices in two locations, but in this case, I just have one location, so I'll tap on Next. Now, what it's going to tell you is to plug the hub into an outlet, and you want to make sure that it's ready to connect. And so when you plug it in, you'll look for the indicator light status that's blinking yellow. And if it is blinking yellow, you tap this little box down below that says, the yellow light is blinking and then we tap on next now what it asks you to do is to make sure that your network is a 2.4 gigahertz network it will not connect to a 5 gigahertz network or anything else it does need the 2.4 gigahertz network now in my case I'm running an Eero network so it doesn't allow me to select that it takes care of that for me in the back end and so I had some trouble connecting to my hub in the first place because it just couldn't find my network so what I had to do is call Eero up, and Eero forced my network to be 2.4 gigahertz for a while so I could connect the hub, and then after that, everything went back to normal and it was working fine. So you just want to make sure that that's the case because it will cause problems otherwise. So I just tap Confirm down there, and I tap Next. Now what it's going to ask me to do is to scan the HomeKit code that comes inside the actual Acara hub. Now I've already done that and set that up so I won't show you that process. But once you do that it will connect to your network and your hub will be set up. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel all of this and go back through the process to the beginning because I want to show you what it looks like once it's connected. So what you'll notice is on this home screen here down below you see the control area. I've got a basic alert uh, for family and another basic alert for family and then I've got a light bulb on and off. Those three things down there are the Acara hub and how it shows up in the Acara application. So for instance if I come down and I tap the light down here and I hold it it takes me into the light status and I can change the display name to whatever I want. Right now the name is light bulb. I can change it to anything I'd like it to be. 
I'm just going to leave it as, uh, I'm going to cancel and leave it as light bulb for now. I can even change the icon in the application as well. Now, because it's a light bulb, I can't do that right now, but depending on what I set it up for, I can change that. And then I can choose whether to display it on the home page or not. Now, I'm just going to leave that alone and come back. So that's the light bulb. Now, if I just tap the light bulb, you see that I get this uh, drop down here that allows me to set up uh, various things about this, uh, this area. If I just slide it all the way down, you can see that I can turn on the light. And so that right now is turned on the light on my hub. And I can choose a color. I can choose any of these colors down here that I'd like the hub to show. So I've got some customizability here. And if I just slide this up, I can even add more colors if I want to just by tapping on edit. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it back off. But I just wanted to show you that that was there so that you can set it up. If I just tap the ellipses on the top right there, you can see that this gives me all of the information I need about the Acara Hub itself. I got the name there. I've got the room that I want it in. And so I've got it in the dining room right now. It shows me all the bridged accessories that I have connected to this hub. And you can see all the different things that I have set up in the home. You can see a number of those window sensors, like I said earlier, because I added those in. And I'm going to show you how to get these accessories in here in just a minute. You can also see uh, a home page card which will show you what that looks like. Uh, you've also got more settings in here in terms of language and the hub volume. So if you want to slide that up or down, you can do that. And then I also can do some automation uh, with the hub. And I did some test automations here. If I just uh, hit the plus there, it has an if then automation setup. Since I'm going to do most of my stuff in HomeKit, I'm not going to show you how to walk through this, but just wanted to let you know that you can control everything inside this app. You can see too that it gives me some network information, manufacturer information, and that sort of thing. And then I can remove the accessory at the bottom. So let me just go ahead and tap back, and then I'll tap back to the beginning. I can also set the alarms in here as well. And so if I just push into that, you can see that I can set the different alert modes that I want to set up. I've got a basic, a home, or a way. And you can see if I tap into that, I got an if-then set up again to set those alarms up. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tap back. But just wanted to give you that idea on how the hub works here inside the Acara app. Now that I've got the hub set up and installed, what I can do is go over to HomeKit and show you what it looks like over there. Okay, so here I am over on HomeKit. And you can see there's my Acara hub there in the dining room. If I just push into the actual hub there, you see I've got a switch for the light on the device as well as one to arm the alarm there on the right. And so those are a couple of options. And then I can change the colors of the lights down there as well. If I just hit the settings here, you can see that I can name the hub whatever I'd like. I have the location where I have it, where I want it to be. It shows all of the accessories. And if I just come over there, it'll show you all the accessories that I got and which ones are working. You can see I've got some windows open there and I've got some other windows closed. Uh, let me go ahead and tap back there. But it shows all those accessories. And, uh, and then down below, you can see the information on the actual manufacturer, and I can remove the hub from HomeKit right from here. Let me just go ahead and close that out. So that's the setup of the hub. Now let's go ahead and walk through how you get devices into your Acara hub and get it set up with HomeKit. Now we're going to take a look at installing the window sensor. And so I picked these up on GearBest. I got 11 of them to install around the house so that I've got one on each of my windows. So as you can see, they're a really great product and I've had good experience with them in all of my testing. And so you can pick them up on Amazon as well. So the first thing you do is pull them out of the box and you can see there's two pieces to it. You've got uh, one that goes on the frame and the other piece that will go on the window. And when they come together, it shows whether they're open or closed. Now to get those devices added, we need to go back into our iPhone over to the Acara app. We're going to hit the plus and move down until we see the door sensors. We tap on those, we select our hub, and then it's asking us to hold the button down on the device. And you can see this button here. This is the same for all of the devices in the Acara line. They'll have a button like this that you hold down. What you do is you press it till you see the light blink three times, and what happens, it connects with the hub, and the hub will Child make a noise that lets connected. us know that it has been connected. Back in the app, you can see that it adds it. We have the option to change the name, which I'll change to window here. And then I can also choose the room that I want to have it in. And I can add rooms as well. In this case, I'll select my master bathroom or bedroom. And there we go. We can see that the sensor has been added to my list of sensors. And you can see I have other information on that uh, sensor as well. Now all I need to do is install the devices. I remove the adhesive from both devices. And I install them in the window, the bigger one on the top and usually the smaller one on the actual window frame itself. 
and I want to make sure that they contact each other. Now when I slide it open, you can see in the Home app that it shows that it has been opened, and when I come back together, you can show that it's closed, so we know that they're working fine. Now back in the Home app, let's go ahead and take a look at the options we have inside the app itself. If I just select it and go into it, I can rename this sensor, and I'm just going to call it Window in this case, because I'll be able to put it in the room that I want it in inside of HomeKit here. And so I'll go ahead and scroll down till I get to my master bedroom. There we go. I'll go ahead and select that. And so now I've got it set the way I want it. That's the Akara HomeKit system. And as you can see, it really is a great system. It has been very reliable for me. And hopefully it gives you some ideas on some ways you can integrate it into your own HomeKit setup. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll speak with you next time. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.